Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you how to recreate the House of Balloons cover by the weekend. There's nothing special, there's no special effects or anything like that on this cover, but I think it'd be cool to deconstruct it and recreate it for another cover art. I already made one for Starboy, so I'm gonna do it for Kissland now just cause it has color. His other covers don't have color, so I thought I'd just add color to um, something that's black and white. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button. With that being said, let's get straight into it. So this is actually really simple. The hardest part is in this section right here where it says House of Balloons and the track listing. I would do this for his new album, but the track list is not out yet. Um, first, I'm actually gonna just make the background right here. So we're just gonna select the color. One thing you'll notice is there's like texture to it. I'll show you how to add it later. But essentially this is supposed to be a newspaper, I assume. Like there's the title, the subtitle and stuff like that. And there's like small details right here you can see. So I selected the color, so I'm gonna um, select on this background right here. I'm gonna press Alt Backspace. And if I hide this, it's the same color. I'm not sure if this is exactly white. I think this is, yeah, a little darker. Um, so we have the background right here. The next thing I'm gonna do is um, make this gradient. So this is actually really, really easy. Um, you just wanna select your rectangle tool. You wanna make sure the stroke is nothing. So this line that's red right here, you wanna select that. And then you want to hold shift and drag this way it keeps the aspect ratio and it makes it a square and not a rectangle and we're just going to duplicate this so press ctrl j and then we're going to change the color depending on whatever color you want i'm going to do kiss land so that's going to be like greenish so i'm going to search up the kiss land cover so we're just going to copy here make it smaller so we're going to go from like lighter to darker actually we're gonna go for darker to lighter i think that's easier to just select colors based off that so we're gonna go first we're gonna do black so you want to select on the square go to this rectangle tool and then press fill so black we're gonna go for like the green now so like a dark green the problem with this is like I want to use a light color like this, right? So I'm not sure how I'm going to go from dark to light using this because this isn't dark at all. <laughs> what I could do is just make the upcoming ones like grayish like this. So I would just um, go to these colors because you can see the grays get lighter. So you don't have to eyeball everything. The last one has to be white though and the and the first one has to be black that's the this whole thing so something like that i just think this um this is too bright you know what i mean i don't know if you can move it here and it'll look different yeah might have to make this a little bit darker because it stands out now this is fine that's not that bad. And basically we're gonna just group all the rectangles. So we're gonna select them all and press Control G. This can be called gradient. So right now we got the background and we got the gradient. And essentially down here, it's the gradient but flipped. So we're gonna duplicate this, press Control J. Then press Control T, right click, flip horizontally. And we're gonna line it up here. So I'm gonna say gradient bottom, gradient top. The next easy thing to do is add the lines. So um, all you wanna do is, let's just select the color of the line first. It's probably like close to black, obviously, but I think the whole thing about this cover is it isn't all black. There's a lot of grays in it. So you wanna make sure you follow that. Don't make everything black. So we're gonna just select the rectangle tool, press on the fill and then Press on the color you just selected right there. And we're just gonna stretch this all the way here. This one's a little fat and I realized that it's round corners. I don't think it really matters. We're gonna duplicate it three more times 
just because you can see there's three more lines right there this one's a little skinnier and it's a little bit um like grayer so we're gonna select that color then make sure that's the fill okay that's another one so if we hide this this is what we have right now which is the the very basic once you add the title and stuff like that in a picture i think it'll look a little bit better so we're going to duplicate this again move it down here this one's probably the same color but a little thicker and the last one's black or not black like gray Now you can see these things, right? This is easy to create as well. You just create two rectangles, essentially. But that's also gray, so I'm gonna select one of the gray colors. Actually, that might be darker than gray. So I'm gonna group this. I'm gonna duplicate it, move it up here. And you want to hold shift while you do that and then we're going to duplicate it again we're going to right click flip horizontal we're going to duplicate again and move it down so there we got it now i'm going to add the next easy thing which is a picture so i'm going to go to kiss land maybe wallpaper like i want a picture like this but without all that okay that might be that might be good we're gonna right click and copy, see if it works. It sort of fits. So I'm gonna lower the opacity so I see where to cut it off right there. And then we're gonna increase it again and delete. The only thing now is the colors changed a little bit. So we have to change the colors. So I changed the colors a little bit. Maybe this isn't the right, right picture to be honest, because now it doesn't look like the colors of Kissland. I need something like the cover, but that isn't the cover. Like I would take this, but this is not his haircut in Kissland, right? Here, let's try taking this image. We're gonna paste it and we're gonna right click, create clipping mask. So let's say we take this one, right? Maybe we can add a gradient. Maybe we can select like, the green. Actually, yeah, we could do this. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, I'm fine with this. But now this, one of these have to be like more of a green. Okay, that's way too dark. Oh, it's way too bright. So something like that. Hmm. Maybe we could do that. Yep. That's good. Now the last thing that's left basically is to add the text, which isn't hard. We're gonna use the font Helvectia bold and we're gonna create it. So we're just gonna type in the text right here. You just wanna make sure that if there's two words that the first letter of the words are capitalized. That's like a theme going on and there's no spaces as well. So we're gonna increase this. I don't think the fonts line up perfectly, but we can try our best. You may also notice that the text right here is sort of touching. The way you do that is um, you want to highlight everything, press Control T, and you want to change the vertical alignment so that it sort of goes in. You see what that does? So we're just going to make it negative 40. Actually, maybe negative 40 is too much, like negative 25. This lines up way better, by the way. All right, now if we hide this you can see how that looks like so it's going really really good actually the next thing is to add the title so i'm just going to duplicate this layer press ctrl j and then we're going to make it smaller and i'm going to type in kiss land i'm not sure if kiss land was two words yeah it was two words 
So no spaces, that's the big thing. And we're just gonna make it smaller. So there we go. The next thing is to duplicate Kislan and move it all the way to the bottom. You see that? And the bottom, I think it's like darker. And this one has a space in between each of them. So we're gonna make smaller. And there we go. Now, the only thing left is the track list. So the track list is actually easy. You wanna just pull out the track list. Hopefully this one's short because <laughs> I did a star boy and that thing was long. Okay, 10 songs. That's actually really, really good. I think it actually matches up almost. Yeah, nine songs. So the track list as well has no spaces, you can notice. Um, there's no like significant space in between one and two. So um, if I'm right, you can actually do this all on one line of text. So professional space two. Let me make this bigger. The town space three. The only thing you'll need to really notice is if it's meeting the end point, we're almost at that point. And because there's 10 songs and we're at number five, I'm just gonna leave it as is. And we can actually hide this layer now because we're sort of done with it. The only reason I'll need it now is to see um, the space in between these two lines. So I'm gonna press the enter buttons. So that makes a new line right here. And we actually wanna, wanna highlight and align it to the left. If there isn't a significant amount of space between your line, what you can do is change this setting right here so you want to highlight and press ctrl t and it kind of changes the spacing between lines so now we're at six live for why is live for the only one that's explicit i'm sure that all of them are explicit Ooh, the only problem is it's too short so what i might have to do is i might actually have to add the explicit hopefully i'm spelling it right explicit and pretty is explicit so there we go the only thing however is kissland is actually like black and green themed not black and white themed so what i might do is make it have a dark background so i can do this by just changing everything that's white to black and everything that's black to white or what i can actually do is invert everything right and then i can just move the image and stuff to the top so there and the gradient basically the two gradients should be at the top in and this a little bit before the last step you can see that the gradient has changed so i'm gonna go ahead and change that now the last thing i'm gonna do is add texture so you can uh, go on unsplash.com you can use all these images for free i don't like to use google just because a lot of the stuff isn't like totally high quality actually i think it'd be better to search up paper like to get one of these so we're gonna make it go on the top, rotate it. And because it has color, if we select any blend mode, it's gonna change the color. So we're gonna make it black and white. I'm gonna press Control E to merge them. And now we're gonna use the blend mode. So you can see it adds the texture, that's paper. I'm gonna go on color curves and turn down the highlights. Cause you can see the whites get, it gets a little bit brighter for some reason when you use this paper. Or what I could do is do it on the actual paper layer. Now we're gonna highlight everything. We're gonna duplicate it, press Control E. And now we're gonna add noise. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.